Hello guys, hi. So uh, today we're going to be discussing how to prepare for NESS, GI surgery, onco surgery, and urology. So these are the specialties in which most of you surgery graduates are very interested in. Uh, so we have slightly more than a month's time and in this short duration, how are you going to prepare? It's going to be a bit of a challenge because most of you are oriented to general surgery only. You're not been spending too much time on specialties. So let's approach GI surgery first. So GI surgery, again, the competition is maximum. The seats are less. Uh, the real question whether you want to take it in uh, in ESS now, that's a different question. We are not going to address it over here. So again, Shackleford, Blumgart and important topics in transplant. So these are going to be the bulk of your preparation. Within one month, it's going to be very difficult. If you've already read Sabiston, great, because Sabiston GI surgery is a very important part for in ESS as well. But if you're not read, you really don't have time to start afresh now. Start off with the MCQs. Uh, the GI surgery MCQ bank has MCQs from Sabiston, Shackleford and Blumgart. It covers the entire topics as well as a little more uh, recalls and repeats. Also uh, questions which we anticipate uh, can be asked. So the GI surgery question bank is going to be absolutely crucial for your preparation. GI surgery video lectures are non-negotiable. The video lectures are extremely comprehensive, more than 80 hours of GI surgery in which most topics are covered in uh, extreme detail. Uh, say for example, the entire Shackleford esophagus is covered in 10 hours, which means that a lot of concentration is required even to watch the video lectures. 10 hours of esophagus in Shackleford is, is, a, is, a, is a quite a uh, heavy thing to even watch in videos, and which means that it will take you around 20 to 25 hours to watch, which means two to three days for esophagus. Again, two to three days for colorectum. Samrat Jankar has taken colorectum. Absolutely excellent. You can see the sample videos on our YouTube channel. Uh, excellent coverage of esophagus by Dr. Venkatesh Mahadevan. Those, these are all gold and gems which have been used by toppers uh, for many years right now. And uh, I would say you will have to watch them if you're really serious about it. And especially if you're preparing in a very short time, if you're not read Shackleford before. When it comes to onco surgery, the sources of questions are very varied. Your primary source is going to be uh, MD Anderson Handbook of Surgical Oncology, 6th edition. Devita questions can be asked. NCCM guidelines are a major chunk of questions. Again, for this, you will have to use multiple resources. Uh, M, uh, the MD Anderson Oncology Handbook is can be easily finished in one month if you're serious about it. Supplement it with um, the Onco Surgery MCQ Bank, very much possible. Again, for those who are serious, you can use the uh, Onco Surgery video lectures. Either you're serious or you want to kind of, uh, you know, strengthen your concepts, you can use it to watch videos if you find it difficult to solve MCQs. Urology is a whole different game. The urology video lectures are comprehensive, but it's going to take you time. So I would say that for urology, the topic is again vast. Campbell is a very vast book. I would say general surgery is very important. General surgery part uh, where Bailey uh, urology questions do get asked in your NESS as well. As well as if you manage to solve the 2000 MCQs of urology in say uh, the uh, next one and a half months, I think you have a fair chance at NESS. I don't think you would have uh, too much time to watch the urology video lectures, but if you do have time, they are a very useful resource. But this is going to be the crux of your preparation. Uh, do not stress yourself too much by watching books. Flip through the tables. Don't get into a FOMO where you know you fear missing out or uh, saying that, oh, my friend has read this, my friend has read that. No, you don't have time for that. You need to read the most important topics. You need to look at the recalls. The recalls, most of the recalls are there in the uh, question banks, uh, they are very comprehensive and uh, I think that's all you need for uh, GI surgery, onco surgery and urology. Uh, if you have any doubts about how to prepare, you can you know mention that in the uh, YouTube comments and we'll be getting back to you really, really soon. Thank you so much. Have a good day.